sparkling story time, nurturing preschool minds through colorful and engaging picture books. Introduction Hey there! Let's dive into the magical world of picture books for our little preschoolers. You know, those colorful, whimsical tales that come to life with every turn of the page. But here's the thing, picking the right picture books isn't just a random task. It's a bit like choosing the perfect snack for a picky eater. These early years are like sponges for learning, and the stories we share with them can leave a significant, lasting imprint. So, buckle up as we explore why it's so darn important to hit the bull's eye when choosing these literary treasures for our tiny tots. Remember, just like how we carefully select the freshest fruits for our little ones, we'll want to be just as considerate when picking out the best picture books for our preschool pals. After all, it's a journey into their imagination, and we want it to be delightful. So, let's unravel the secrets of making those pages come alive for our little readers. Colorful and engaging. Picture this, a book bursting with colors like a rainbow on a sunny day. It's like handing preschoolers a treasure chest filled with dazzling gems. Those vivid illustrations aren't just pretty decorations, they're like magnets for their curious little eyes. Imagine a book where the pages are alive with colors that could rival a painter's palette. It's like a mini fireworks show right in their hands. These colors aren't just for show, they're attention grabbers. Picture a bright red fire truck racing through the pages or a playful blue elephant trumpeting its way into their hearts. Now, let's peek at a couple of these engaging wonders. Were you ever heard of The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl? Oh boy, that book is a kaleidoscope of colors. Every page is a feast for the eyes, with the caterpillar munching through vibrant fruits. And how about Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? By Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl? It's like a rainbow parade of animals, each with its splash of color. But it's not just about colors, it's about capturing their imagination. Imagine flipping through the pages of Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak, the illustrations are like a wild, untamed jungle that whisks them away on an adventure. So, when picking out a picture book for your little explorer, remember that those colors aren't just there to look pretty. They're like little anchors holding their attention and setting their imagination soaring. It's like giving them a ticket to a world painted in pure, unadulterated joy. Simple stories. Let's embark on a storytelling adventure tailor-made for our little explorers. Imagine a story as straightforward as a friendly wave, it's like handing them a cozy blanket of words. These stories aren't about complex twists and turns but about laying down a gentle path for those tiny feet to follow. Think of it this way, when we teach our little pals to ride a bike, we start with training wheels, right? Well, simple stories are like those training wheels for their budding imaginations. These stories speak their language, straightforward, uncomplicated, and oh so inviting. Picture a tale where a little bunny goes on an adventure to find a lost teddy bear. It's like a mini treasure hunt where every step is crystal clear, and every emotion is on the surface. These stories are like windows into a world that's easy to understand, a bit like their favorite nursery rhymes. Now, let's uncover the magic that these simple stories weave into their growing minds. As they listen and follow along, it's like a little brain workout, their language skills are doing jumping jacks. Every simple sentence they absorb is a building block for their vocabulary, helping them learn new words faster than a rabbit hopping through a meadow. But that's not all, oh no. These stories are like puzzle pieces for their cognitive skills. As they connect the dots in the story, their brain is dancing happily. They're learning about cause and effect, how one thing leads to another, and their little gears of understanding are turning faster than ever. So, when picking out a book for your tiny bookworm, remember that simple stories are like a whisper of encouragement for their growing minds. They're like a secret code that unlocks the door to a world where learning is as natural as breathing. It's like planting seeds of imagination that will bloom into a garden of creativity in no time. Interaction Hey there, fellow parent and adventurer in the realm of tiny tots. 
Buckle up because we're about to uncover a treasure trove of connection and learning while we flip through those colorful pages. Now, picture this, you and your little one cozied up with a book practically bursting with captivating pictures. But here's the twist, it's not just about reading the words. Nope, it's about creating a symphony of interaction. Imagine asking your little explorer to point at the bright red ball on the page. It's like a game of hide and seek that's both exciting and educational. Their tiny finger finds the ball, and their eyes light up like stars. Then comes the magic part, you ask them what color the ball is, and they proudly declare, red. It's like a mini victory dance for their developing vocabulary. But that's not all. Let's take it a step further. Imagine you're reading a story about a naughty puppy who gets into all sorts of adventures. Now, you ask your little sidekick to describe what's happening in the picture, how the puppy digs up a garden or is chasing its tail. It's like opening the door to their imagination. They start weaving words like dig, dirt, and happy puppy, and you can practically see their comprehension blooming like a sunflower in spring. And here's the real magic, every time you dive into these interactions, you're not just reading a story, you're building a bridge between their curiosity and the world of words. You're showing them that books aren't just static pages but a portal to conversations, giggles, and shared moments. So, next time you're snuggled up with a book, remember it's not just about reading aloud. It's about creating a dance of words and gestures, where each page turn is a chance to explore, learn, and connect. It's like a journey where every smile, every laugh, and every shared thought is a stepping stone to a future where their vocabulary knows no bounds and their comprehension reaches for the stars. Conclusion And there you have it, fellow parents, a whirlwind tour through the enchanting world of preschooler reading. We've dived into the importance of choosing those vibrant, captivating picture books that are practically a rainbow on paper. We've discovered that these colors aren't just eye candy, they're like magnets that keep those little eyes glued to the pages, sparking their curiosity like fireflies at night. But wait, there's more. We've unveiled the treasure trove of simple stories, tales like a gentle hand guiding our little adventurers through the magic of words. These stories aren't just stepping stones, they're like a cozy path that leads straight to their developing minds, nurturing their vocabulary and setting their comprehension on a rocket-fueled journey. Now, let's bring it home, dear parents. Remember the golden rules as you embark on this reading adventure with your tiny explorers. Choose books that are as colorful as a painter's palette and practically hum with life through their illustrations. Seek out simple stories, like a clear blue sky, guiding your child with every turn of the page. Imagine the giggles, the oohs and ahs, the shared laughter as you venture into these literary wonderlands together. It's not just reading, it's a dance, a conversation, a chance to bond over the magic of words and imagination. So, here's your guidebook, choose vibrant, engaging picture books with simple stories. Let these pages be the stepping stones that lead your preschooler into a world where learning is as natural as breathing, and the joy of reading is a lifelong companion. Now, go forth, dear parents, and let those pages come alive with your love, laughter, and shared moments. Happy reading!